Yeah, you read that right. This is the final video on my channel. Or is it? Hmm. Well, stay tuned to find out. How oh. dare you? How dare you say such a thing? So yeah, my attic is a mess. Um, basically what happened is, is that uh, my dad side hustles selling shoes, clothing, and other miscellaneous items. And he stores them in our attic. And that accumulated like over the years. And you know, that's basically what happened. It's it's that messy now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of hate it, but at the same time, I don't because I found a lot of like really cool items and treasures for like cheap deals, you know. And I literally, I mean, literally, have not seen the floor of the attic since middle school, and that was like more than ten years ago. But yeah, this week I'm going to do a cleanup haul and not the usual because. I'm just lazy and this is easy to film. And you get to know a little bit more about me personally, which I think is a good thing because from my videos, you probably think I'm a goofball, which I am, but I'm more than that. You know, that's what they all say, but yes, I am more than that. I am more than a dumb goofball. But that's besides the point, so let's jump right into it. So who am I? I'm a recent college grad. Woot woot, let's go, ayy. It honestly sucks that I had a virtual graduation because literally all they did was like list my name and a bunch of other names, like from top to bottom. And I'm, I'm just like, bruh, bruh. Um, in college, I was part of a fraternity and a Christian fellowship, which I know is crazy because they're literally like two polar opposites, but like, I'm unique, so it works. Uh, I grew up in a predominantly Italian neighborhood in the Bronx. Bronx represent, a a a ooh, ah, ah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not a typical Bronx kid because I am not gangster enough or hood enough, I guess. Um, but you know what? I don't care. Gotta represent the Bronx anyways, so. I'm a Burmese-Chinese-American. I can speak five languages, uh, English, Burmese, Chinese, French, Spanish, but in reality, I can only speak three in real life. Um, all I know in French is like, oui, oui, uh, je m'appelle Vaubert. Um, c'est la vie, uh, that's life. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty boring guy, to be honest. Um, man, I'm sweating in here already, and I literally don't have a mic anymore, I lost it. Um, so, uh, all these stupid things that have been happening go bad. So I, I won't turn on the AC because it's gonna be hard to edit the audio, so I'm just gonna have to wing it from here. What's my origin story? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, so basically how I started this legendary, how, uh, oh my god, I can't speak. So basically how I started this legendary channel was back in 2011. Uh, it was the summer before 8th grade, and my channel was called Blade478 because it sounded cool at the time. And I made a couple of music videos using the old YouTube editor that had the free-to-use demo clips. And then after that I stopped for a long time until this year, until I made a web series with my college friends called the West Arrow C which is inspired by The Office and semi-realistic events from our dormitory lives. So the apartment we were living at the time was called West C, and we had a group chat called West Zero C, so like, the name stuck and we just used that name. I really learned how to like edit, film, like lighting, all that kind of like crap, and it was just a lot of stuff to take in, but it was really fun, and it made my senior experience worthwhile. And yeah, that, that web series, West Zero C, really gave me the confidence to like, you know, kickstart my YouTube channel and quarantine really helped too because I got a lot of time to like really brainstorm a lot of ideas that I put in my notes and summer comes along and then, you know, here we are now. My current name is actually a reference to this anime called Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but um, basically that anime uses a lot of uh, musical references. So my, my name, my channel name is a, a musical reference to Kanye and Jay-Z's Watch the Throne album. So Watch the Couch is basically just like a more laid back, chill type of, you know, vibe. And I think my content's pretty chill and goofy and stupid and dumb and cringe and embarrassing and et cetera, et cetera. But I'm getting there, I'm, I'm getting somewhere, so it's good. But yeah, these past three months have been quite a experience. And I definitely noticed how much my content and editing has improved a lot. A lot of my later skits are much shorter and they're kind of to the point, like it's nonsense humor, like surreal humor. Um, I definitely have to pay my respects to Tina Fey because Tina Fey's comedy 
really inspired me a lot because like like watching like Dirty Rock or Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt like really that their comedy style is like really like kind of me it's exactly who I am and something that I would actually do in real life too so it was just pretty natural for me to like really take a lot of inspiration from that. Like I personally really love the uh, the cereal milk skit, uh, the don't leave me TikTok challenge, which really helped my channel pick up a lot at that point. Um, the driving skit, the Costco skit, and my passion projects with the, uh, the web series and the uh, alcohol and spirits guide. It's a fan appreciation time. Um, I like to thank my loyal fans and viewers out there. Um, but I'm gonna start with my college buds first because you know they've been there from the beginning so thank you to Aditya, AJ, Brandon, Brian, Catherine, Christian, David, Emily, Francis, Gautrell, Hughes, Jen, Jenna, John, Khalil, Keith, Kevin, KG, you know who you are, Kobe, Kristen, Luke, Mike, Nathan, Omar, Peter, Bray, Rudy, Veronica, Victoria, X, and Zachary. Uh, thank you for, well, I don't have to explain myself, but uh, you know what it is, so. And also I like to thank a lot of my new fellow YouTuber friends that I made um, during the summer. Um, you guys are a loving community and it's crazy. Um, but uh, yes, I like to say thank you and no in alphabetical order. AD Richie, Alex Fabulous Naba, Asian American Focus, Dance Yoga Wellness, ENJ Hits, Euphoric Soul, GM Ace, Hope Reed, uh, Ikigai Art Lab, Julian Steve, My Bronx Boy, A, Naomi Shapumba, Oh My Dane, All Get Does Stuff, Pete's Blogs, uh, Sashi Dulik, uh, Surrey360, Tammy Winkle, to go here and there, uh, Sheppy M, Twins Try, and YouTube channel. Yes, there is a channel called YouTube channel. Yes, I know who you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, Mr. Familiar. Mm -hmm. You guys are awesome. You smart, you independent. <laughs> you a genius. You beautiful, you independent. Uh, we the best. I appreciate you. You loyal. If I forgot anyone, well, you know who you are, and I appreciate you all too. So I have these boxes stacked up here. It's not clean, I know. And all these boxes here, and all that down the stairs, and I usually have no way to get out of here. So the big question, am I quitting YouTube? Drum roll, please. Yes, I am quitting YouTube. But only temporarily, of course. I mean, come on, like my creativity level hasn't even reached over 9,000 yet. Like, I got so much left in the tank, you know? Um, I honestly don't know when I'll be coming back, but um, I do have a lot of content in mind, but I kind of want to focus on my life with, you know, family and kind of getting a better job than what I have now because I'm only getting paid 15 an hour, uh, working six days a week from nine to four, and that is not a good, Deal at all not a good pay and I'm exhausted as heck working six days a week so like Sunday is literally the only free time I have to like do everything um, I really wish I could make more time but uh, I would be overloaded with a bunch of crap and my skits would not be as good as they are right now so I kind of want to take more time on that and pump out the great content here and there but I just need to get my life together first you know like I lost my mic I scratched my car um, my mom also got into a minor car accident like this these past few weeks and I'm just like what is going on uh, a bunch of bad luck happening so it's not good anyway I'm gonna end it here since I am barely a third of the way done with cleaning up the attic oof again I appreciate the love and support you guys have all been giving me um, it's been an unreal experience etc etc you know how it is and if you dare unfollow me because I haven't posted in weeks I will find you and I will beg you to subscribe to me again because I'm desperate like that. Anywho, it's been real, y'all. You know what it is. See you real soon in the coming weeks. Peace.